Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? It's gonna be a quick tutorial on how to install Python, Git, and VS Code, all important things you need to do for all of the cool ChatGBT stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into the computer and get those things installed. All the links are gonna be down below in the description for you to install them very quickly. And let's just go ahead and run through it. So first is you're gonna to need to download Python. So click the download Python button here, um, save it to somewhere where you can find it. Then next thing you wanna do is hop on over to, it's gonna be Git. And the link that I'm actually gonna share in the description is gonna be this one. So if you have a Mac, go down to Mac. If you have a Windows, go to the Windows. I've got Windows here. So we're gonna do Git for Windows installer. And then I'm gonna click download right here and then save it to a location that you know as well. Normally it defaults to your downloads folder just in case um, you don't have a, a specific option that you save it to. And then the next thing we wanna do is install Visual Studio Code. So go ahead and click the download for Windows here if you got Windows and I believe you can do Mac or Linux if you have those, so click that and then it's going to download into those folders as well. Once you have all of that done, we're gonna head on over to our folders and get those things downloaded. Mine defaulted to the downloads folder for the Windows, and all we're gonna do is run through each setup. So let's go ahead and install Python first. And what you wanna make sure is you check this add Python exe to path. This basically allows you to access it from the command line anywhere. So yes, we wanna do that and then click install now. It's gonna install it onto your computer. Okay, and once it's done here, go ahead and you, you don't need to disable path length limit. It should be fine. And then you can just click close. Next, we're gonna go into this git install. So double click on that. And then you might have a window that pops up that says if you wanna find an app in the store to open it. So just click yes. Um, and then once you're in here, click next. Um, location where you wanna save it to, click next, that's fine. We're just gonna go ahead and leave it as the default. I don't want any icons on my desktop. And then, yeah, this should be fine as well here. Vim is quite old, so I mean, you can select use Visual Studio Code as Git's default editor, um, but we need to install it first for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as Vim. And then let's just go ahead, click next, click next here, next one more time, and then next, 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 next. And then once you're through all of those, uh, just click install at the end there and we'll get it installed. I haven't found any uses for any of those other options that were unchecked, so I don't have any say in those, but I know they have specific reasons for them being used. And if I come across them, then I guess I'll change my installation. Go ahead and unclick view release notes because we don't need that at the moment. And then the last thing we gotta, we're gonna install is VS Code. So technically you, you don't need VS Code. You can choose whatever um, IDE you wanna run. And IDE is just, it's just short for integrated development developer environment, something like that. And so uh, that's what we're gonna be using VS Code for. Um, let's see, uh, this is fine. Um, I'm running it on an administrator account, so um, it's just gonna install it for all the users. I'm gonna accept, next, next. And then I'm gonna click yes here because this is gonna allow me to right click on something and open it in VS Code. So I'm gonna click yes. And then and then I'm gonna go ahead and click next here. I'm gonna go ahead and install and we'll be back once it's done. All right, so in this case, we are going to launch Visual Studio Code now that we have everything else installed. So go ahead and click finish, and then we're just gonna make it full screen. So this is gonna be your welcome page. I like to uncheck this show welcome page on startup so I don't get this each time. And um, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and go to new file. We're just gonna do text file up there. And then we're gonna head over to this top left corner where it says um, Explorer, and then go ahead and go to um, Extensions. And that Extensions is this four little blocks here. And what we're gonna do is install Python. So here it's the first one that appears, but if you don't see it, we're just gonna type Python. We're gonna go ahead and click into it, and then we're gonna click Install. So the reason that we installed Python individually and then Python inside of VS Code is so, um, this is so that Python works inside of VS Code, and then the other one is so that we could run it in the command line if we wanted to outside of, outside of VS Code. Okay, you can exit out of all of these. Okay, and just to check that it works, we're gonna do a simple hello world. So we're gonna type print, do parentheses, and then we're gonna say, we're gonna do a quote, we're gonna do hello world, and then we're gonna do end quote, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to run up here, click start debugging, and then we're gonna save this to somewhere. Let's just save it on desktop for now. We're gonna call it hello world.py, and then it's gonna ask us to run it here, and then down here, we're gonna see it say hello world, it says hello world. 
And so yes, now Python is officially running on our on our IDE and you should be up and running to get Python running for any anything you need to do it for. So that's it. If anyone watching this is a little bit more experienced in getting this stuff set up, let me know down in the comments on what you do instead. But this is how you get Python, Git and then VS Code for any of the um, for any code that you might need to do in the future. So that's going to be today's video. Again, see you later, guys. And uh, yeah.